I'm Robin Higgins, and this is butane versus isobutane. So let's identify what we're really talking about. Butane is a name that we use to identify uh, any type of alkane that just has four carbons and no double bonds, no triple bonds. So right here I have our list of our simple alkanes and their names. So methane just has one carbon, um, and so its structure will look like this. Remember, carbon always makes four bonds in alkane, all single bonds. And then ethane has two carbons, propane has three. And what we're talking about, butane, has four carbons. So by the time you get here, its structure has four connected carbons in a straight line. And then each carbon is going to have the appropriate number of hydrogens. So the ones on the end have three. The ones in the middle have only two, because remember, carbon can only form those four bonds. And then this other end guy has three also. So this is our structure of butane. It's four carbons. It's all in a straight line. But what does it mean when we say isobutane? Well, if we keep the chunk that says butane, we know it's still going to have four carbons. But if we look at this structure, we could actually arrange these in another way. So what if instead of in a straight line, one, two, three, four, we had carbon connected to carbon connected to carbon. And what if now, instead of adding this last one here, we added it to this carbon? Well, this still has four carbons, so it's still related to butane, but it's kind of like a cousin. And this is named isobutane. And so in chemistry, if something is close but not exact, kind of like the relationship between these two guys, we're going to call them isomers. So. Butane is an isomer of isobutane. I isobutane has an isomer in butane, and uh, this is the relationship. So in stick formation, butane looks like this. Isobutane looks like this. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been isobutane versus butane.